Hello, I'm John Lozier with the National Health Care for the Homeless Council. Welcome to today's webinar entitled Planning Health Care for the Homeless Day Events for Health Center Week. This is a production of the National Health Care for the Homeless Council with support from the Health Resources and Services Administration and its Office of Special Population Health. This session is a pre-recorded 16-minute presentation. We'll be happy to take questions that you might have uh, via email. There'll be an address on the last slide in this presentation. Let me now introduce your speakers, Katie Valeski and Amy Grissett. Katie recently joined the Council staff as our consumer advocate. She works closely with the National Consumer Advisory Board and consumers around the country to develop their voice in leadership. Amy is the chair of the National Consumer Advisory Board and the secretary of our board of directors. She's from Worcester, Massachusetts and capably serves her community and consumers nationally. Thank you, John. My name is Katie Valeski and I'm the consumer advocate at the National Healthcare for the Homeless Council. And I'm pleased to be with you today to talk about some brief ideas on how you can participate in Health Center Week's HCH Day on August 10, 2011. This year's theme for Health Center Week is celebrating America's health centers, serving locally, and leading nationally. Health Center Week and HCH Day are a day for us to recognize all that are served by health centers nationwide. In 2009, there were more than 18 million people served. A million of those were experiencing homelessness at the time that they were served by a health center. And of those, 827,000 of these were served at an HCH project. It's roughly 80%. Health Center Week and HCH Day are a day to recognize the work that health centers do to make sure everyone has access to a health home. In 2010, President Obama gave a proclamation designating Health Center Week, and HHS Secretary Sebelius and other federal officials also provided a webcast. Other public officials and community leaders participated. Whatever activity you choose, we also encourage you to get your local public officials involved as well. Here's a list of the ideas that we have for your event. We'll go into more detail. You can host a health fair with screenings. You can make signs and rally in a public place. Be sure to get your permits first, though. You can have a clinic open house. You can host an event with music, food, beverages, street kits, and opportunities for consumers to talk about what the HCH project does for them. And you can also engage public officials. The health fair setup, uh, as I've heard it described, is kind of setting up tables in a public space where you can offer health screenings. Those can be anything from fitness tests to blood pressure screenings to diabetic testing, first aid demonstrations, immunizations, those type of things. You can also hand out items that would help uh, those in need, such as diabetic socks, first aid kits, nutritious snacks, water, and electrolyte replacement. I would encourage you to get local companies involved, or even national companies, go for it, and get them involved in providing these items for your, for your health fair. You can also hand out flyers about what services are offered in the community. This time of year, in the hot, hot summer, Cooling centers are a high priority, even for those who are housed. So resources and flyers saying where those places are are important uh, to provide at these events. In addition, disease awareness brochures can be offered, especially for those diseases that are known or newly identified through the health screenings at the health fair. It's also important to tell the community what services are offered at the HCH clinic and what services are not offered there and where where to get those services so for instance if your HCH project does not have a dental clinic where can they go to get free or reduced cost dental care in your community 
You can also hold a rally, make signs and gather in a public space, and talk about uh, HCH projects um, and the great value that they add to the community. I don't think a lot of people know in the general public what an HCH project does for their community. You can uh, hand out information to those who are passing by to educate them on what the HCH project does to help the community. At your rally, you can also offer opportunities for the community to volunteer to help those who are experiencing homelessness. I think a lot of times we focus around the holidays, and it's important for the public to realize that HCH projects are serving patients year-round, and that, unfortunately, homelessness is a year-round problem, not just at the holidays. You can also host an open house of your HCH clinic and the other partner agencies you work with to provide care to your patients. You can invite your public officials and the general public to come and see what you do and how you do it and with what tight resources you manage to accomplish all that you do and all the people that you serve. This can also open to, to the community what services are still lacking that they can support uh, building with you. Uh, for instance, if you don't have that dental clinic in your community that's free or low cost, how can the community help you build that? What do you need to make that happen? So this can start a conversation about that if that's a need that you have. You can also talk about the work of the Consumer Advisory Board and how the community can help in their efforts. Uh, being the consumer advocate, I hear a lot about what consumers are trying to do to help their fellow man, and they don't have the resources to do that sometimes. Uh, I know here in Nashville they're trying to find funds for uh, medical alert bracelets. How can the community help the Consumer Advisory Board accomplish their goal of providing medical alert bracelets to everyone who has diabetes in their community? Great topic for the open house. You can also have a celebration, which I'm, I'm sure everyone's partial to. There's a time and a place, so this is for you. Go for it. You can offer music and food and beverages. Offer a mic about how, and to talk about how the HCH is helping the community. Consumers can participate in this. Clinicians, whomever would like to speak, including your public officials. Want to plug that one more time? You can have a blood donation drive at this celebration, kind of a celebration of life uh, kind of theme. I'm sure the Red Cross would be more than happy to accept blood donations at any celebration you would like to set up. And again, invite corporate sponsors to offer their goods and services in support of the HCH. We've talked about public inviting your public official to your activity event several times, but wanted to offer some other options if that's not something that uh, you could pull off in a short period of time and I know we don't have a whole lot of time until August 10th. You can invite them to write a proclamation. You can also invite them to write a piece for their website. Invite them to speak at any of these events and or write an op-ed uh, about the role of HCH in providing a health safety net for vulnerable people in your local paper. These are just some ideas for a few more. Um, you could have a theme day themed on children or women or men or um, any of a number of diseases that unfortunately uh, disproportionately affect those experiencing homelessness. Um, you can focus on Women's Diabetes Day or Men's Cancer Day, any of those things you can you can do whatever fits your community. You can have an award ceremony to honor public policymakers uh, or even internal policymakers. Some of us have some of those. Uh, you can award staff who've gone above and beyond. You can provide award to board members. I know uh, many HCH projects have wonderful board members that really help them through the lean times. So want to honor those folks. 
um, honor volunteers. Um, I, I know some HCH projects could not do all that they do without their volunteers, so uh, an award ceremony for them. Other community leaders, it's difficult to um, it's difficult sometimes to get community support, so when you have it to to honor that uh, would be a good way to celebrate HCH Day. And honoring patient advocates, those who make sure they get um, the care that they need um, despite any roadblocks. And I would also invite you to honor and recognize consumers who overcome their struggles and choose to use that uh, rather than feeling sorry for themselves or anything like that, they choose to help others uh, with the knowledge that they gain in overcoming their struggles. These are just a few ideas for how you can celebrate and recognize HCH Day. Uh, we will all be thinking of you here at the Council on HCH Day and all that you do. Amy is now going to share what her project in Worcester, Massachusetts does to celebrate Health Center Week and HCH Day. Amy? At Family Health Center of Worcester, uh, in Worcester, Massachusetts, um, we hold a community health fair the week of Community Health Center Week. Um, we have not done it on the Wednesday, which is HCH Day, but we always hold it on that Friday. It seems to be easier for staff and um, our clients to attend on a Friday. Um, some of the things that we do is we bring in public officials, um, congressmen, usually our mayor comes from the city and, and kind of welcomes people to the, from the neighborhood to the health fair. Um, we've actually extended... Um, an invitation to Senator Scott Brown this year, so we're hoping that he will come and speak as well. Um, we reach out to community organizations throughout the city so that they can um, have tables at the event to then give public education information out to our patients. And lots of them bring raffle baskets and, and uh, things to give away to them in addition to the public ed information. Um, we usually get local um, sports groups to send a mascot for the kids. Um, this year we're going to be um, doing healthy foods. Um, so we'll be roasting corn outside on a grill, and we'll have fresh fruits and vegetables. We're hoping to have a popcorn machine and a lemonade stand this year, which we thought would be a lot of fun. Um, so we do um, have a homeless families program here at Family Health Center, and, and they are very present. Um, at the event and hand out information about the program and about healthcare for the homeless in general, um, and then also um, what kind of services that we have here at the health center as a whole um, so people can um, come and get their care here. Um, in addition to medical care, we do offer, offer dental services and we have a pharmacy on site. Um, some of the events that we hold are um, like safety, so we have um, several um, organizations here and um, stores that donate bikes, and we raffle those off. And all of our departments in the health center put together raffle baskets. A lot of those are kind of back-to-school backpacks filled with supplies for the kids. Um, so we do a lot of education or, um, around bike safety and healthy eating. We do screenings for blood pressure and uh, finger sticks. Um, so our care coordination team, uh, which was known as disease management before, is very present out at the event as well. Our prenatal team um, is there. So we all, as a group, take turns going out and spending time at the tables um, with the patients and trying to make it a fun day for everybody. Thank you, Amy. We also, we also had some uh, other consumers share their experiences, and here are a few quotes. Um, but one of my favorite is that we do an event in our city every year. It's a way for us to th say thank you to those who don't hear it enough. And um, I know there are folks probably listening to this who don't hear thank you enough. So from Amy and myself, thank you for what you do, and I hope you'll take advantage of HCH Day 
as a way to celebrate the work that you do in the community, to keep the community vibrant and healthy. With that, I'm going to turn it back over to John, and thank you for your time today. Thank you for viewing this webinar on planning health care for the Homeless Day events during Health Center Week. It was produced for you by the National Health Care for the Homeless Council. We ask that you do three things using the resources on this slide. First, we hope you will post events that you are planning uh, for the benefit of others at the website uh, shown on the first bullet. Second, we ask that you send pictures of your event to Katie Valeski, whose email address is on the second bullet. Third, we ask that you click on the link to the survey and fill in a brief evaluation of this event so that we may serve you better in the future. Please visit our website at the National Health Care for the Homeless Council, nhchc.org, to watch for upcoming webinars in this series. Thank you very much.